Do dads really even wear capes? Well, the answers to those questions are, it depends. She told me that I'm not that loving or whatever with the respect to the different things that I say to her or whatever, but she knows that I love her because of my ex. That was a tough pill for single father Diedrich Moon to swallow from his daughter Haley, but it made him evaluate himself. And doing that self-evaluation, I said, you know what, she's right. Out of that came a renewed focus for him to be intentional about showering her with words of affirmation. So I started thinking about it and I was like, what should I have said to her when she was one? What should I have said to her when she was two? What should I have said to her when she was five? Although he might not be like the easiest person to talk to, I feel like um, it definitely did like help with the comfort factor. Like it may not be easy, but it's more comfortable. He came up with the idea to write this book, Dear Daughter, A Love Story, to help solve what he sees as a larger problem. As I started thinking about it, I said, you know, how many of us men are failing our daughters, you know, in a similar uh, vein? you know, by not telling them that they're beautiful and things of that nature, but also simply not being there. Particularly our black women, we've heard time and time again that black men aren't protecting black women and that we're failing our black women. Fathers are like Lex Luthor, while dads are like Superman. Fathers contribute towards the birth of their daughters and not much else beyond that. Some even come in and out of their daughters' lives with false promises. This leaves their daughters brokenhearted over time. He wrote, Haley edited, Overall, it was a fun experience because I um, got to write some of the things and like kind of advance it further because when it comes to him expressing his emotions, like I'm the one who has to be like, okay, dad, so let's just add a little bit more flair to it. You see, Haley has written and published three books herself. One is The Rules of a Little Boss, a book with a diverse group of characters on a mission to gain self-esteem. You shine everywhere you go and don't let your tiara or crown fall be by making others feel bad about themselves. And she's the CEO of her own publishing company. She's gotten her books into libraries in the state of North Carolina, the state of North Carolina, Maryland, Virginia, Pennsylvania, and has partnered with several different libraries to deliver programming and everything. Randolph County is one. I feel like it would matter because when it comes to predominantly white areas, usually like um, you're, you're only seeing through one's pair of eyes. These are opportunities and things that didn't exist for us once upon a time. I mean, you know, thinking back in the 1600s, 1700s, 1800s, we weren't even allowed to read. But now here we have a teenager who's writing books. And not only has she wrote books and everything, she has wrote award-winning books. Books they hope will help turn the pages of conversation and discourse and make our community a better place. In Black and White, Tracy Clements, Fox 8 News.